hello everybody hang tight facebook decided to change things again and there was no button for me to turn my camera around so i had to point it at my desk but i decided to go ahead with the live and then the camera thing came up so i could turn the camera around so thank you facebook we love you <laughs> i hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend it was a beautiful day here in Menasha, Wisconsin. We started off the day with um, Val and Jared came over for breakfast. Oh, look at my hair. Um, my mom was here all weekend taking a painting class. So that was really fun because we got to go out to dinner with her and visit with her every day. And this morning we I made buttermilk pancakes and we have venison sausage links that are just delicious. I made those and Connie was here from Marquette, Michigan. She's one of my friends team members. She came down to help with all the retreat boxes along with Kathy Miller was here to help with the retreat boxes. And then Jody Peterson stopped over today. It has been just a weekend filled with people and fun. So I'm happy to report that for those of you have that signed up for the virtual retreat, I know you had a blast. Um, the weekend was just filled with all kinds of stamping fun from mystery stamping to a sketch challenge to a color challenge to a scavenger hunt, which was super fun, as well as um, make and take videos and um, display stampers and galleries of cards. It was just crazy. We had a blast. So we have all the retreat boxes packed up. All I need to do is put shipping on them and get them out in the mail tomorrow. Woohoo! So I see lots of you coming in here tonight. I know I'm up against the Packers. The Green Bay Packers are playing a football game tonight and I am sad to be missing it, but you know what? We're gonna have a lot of fun and I'll hear all about it on the news and catch the end of it. Which reminds me, when we're done here tonight, Haley invited us over. My mom's going to be leaving tomorrow morning to go back home. And um, Haley invited us over when I'm done tonight so we can say our goodbyes. And Val had a very late nap. She fell asleep on the kitchen floor under her high chair. <laughs> so she should still be up, which will be fun. What else happened? Steve did a lot of cooking this weekend. Holy cow. Hi, Elaine. Um, he made spaghetti. He made, um, he cooked the macaroni and cheese that I bought at Costco. He, um, what else did he make? Oh, he made the breakfast burrito dish, which I love. And today he made cheeseburgers. And I think that's about it. So we have lots of food to eat this week. Yay. No cooking this week for Steve. I'm going to give him a break. Hi, Chris. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Donna. I see all of you guys popping in here. Um, wanted to give you a John update. So um, John had some company this weekend, and I might add that the back of their car was a little smashed up. I don't know who it was. I don't know what happened to the car, but... And John was packing up some more brush that he trimmed off of his trees. And that's what I have for you. So, little bit of John activity, nothing too exciting to report. What else? Oh, I see somebody coming to us from Lee's Summit. Cindy Williams is coming to us from Lee's Summit. Come on over here. We used to live in Belton, so that was close. So, you guys, this is my mom. Hi, everybody. Yay! She was in town for a three-day painting class. A very, very good one. A very good one. She likes to do acrylic painting, and she's very good at it. And She made some really pretty things, and we were happy to have her here all weekend, even though it was a little crazy. We had a great time, right? Yes, we did. Yes, we, we did. did. We, yes, did. we did. We yes. fed her good. Yes. Uh, she slept good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she likes, when she comes to this area, she likes to go to the PDQ car wash and get her car washed inside and out. Yes, very definitely. So she yes. did that. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yes. So Myrtle is ready to go back Myrtle. home. <laughs> Her car's name is Myrtle and Myrtle's ready to go home tomorrow. Yeah. 
<laughs> Everybody's yeah. saying, hi, Kelly's mom. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Lisa Spacek lives in Park Falls. Well, I'll be darned. Yeah. That's a favorite song so, of mine. Yeah, right? Yes. I know. She didn't get to go bear hunting with us because she was sick. She had a bad cold. Yes, that was So, sad. it was. Yeah, we was we missed her up there. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, Mom. Nope. Just talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. All right, you guys. This is the final Kathy says it was really nice to see you. Good, good, good. Kathy actually went to my mom's house one weekend with me, and we stayed there for the whole weekend, I think. And so that was really fun. Um, celebration last week. This is the last week of celebration. Can you guys believe it? I'm not done. I'm not done showing you celebration stuff. I'm really pretty sad about it. But I wanted to make sure that everybody knows that September 30th is Thursday. That is the last day of celebration. And I was asking, oh, I didn't even, I was asking Kathy, hang on just a second. I wanted to see, oh, nope, I never sent the message. So that's great. Um, I know the bedazzling paper is no longer available. We ran out of that. Oh, super popular and so pretty, right? And we just ran out of the sheep dies. The stamp set is still available and it is adorable all by itself, but we just ran out of the sheep dies. So that was really sad. Um, I don't know if we're out of anything else. I don't think so. I haven't heard anything. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Judy. Judy says your mom is so cute. She is. <laughs> um, so everything else is still available. And I'm really excited because tonight I'm going to be showing you a really, really pretty, pretty card using, hang on, the, oops, I can't find it. Hang on. Um, feels like home stamp set. Oh, it's way in the front. This stamp set right here. We're going to be making a super pretty card with that. And we're also going to be making a bunch, a bunch of cards with the textures and frames, which is one of those stamp sets that a lot of people don't know what to do with it, right? So I'm going to show you what to do with it. Oh, Connie said Kelly's mom is awesome. No wonder. <laughs> Thank you so much. She is, she is really awesome. Yeah. I had, um, I, I have a great mom. I had a great dad. My parents were wonderful. Um, you know, <laughs> you hear about, and I, I should, no, I'm not even going to say it. But anyways, I had a great, great childhood. So <laughs> um, anyways, end of celebration. Now, what that means also, you guys, is that it is the last chance to join my team with a fantastic deal. And you get to choose $125 in product, anything you want, completely customizable for only $99 plus tax. And through Thursday... While celebration is going, you get to also choose a bundle out of the holiday mini catalog, which can be a value up to 60 some dollars. So tremendous value. You get to test it out, become a part of something bigger, join a whole bunch of people that love to do what you do. It's so much fun. And I can't, there's not enough time for me to tell you all the things that I offer to go with being on my team. Whether you're a discount shopper or you want to make a big business or a little business, you can do either. And Kathy, Kathy says, great. I don't know what to do with the textures and frame stamp set. And I know exactly what you mean. So I actually pulled it out. I got it all mounted and I started playing with it. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised because there are so many good things to do with it. It's, it's just so much fun. You're going to go, oh, of course, once I show you the cards. Okay, so celebration ends Thursday. Please join my team. You will love it. Um, there are no strings attached. If, um, if you don't stay with me, it's fine. You can continue to order through me. I'm, I'm never going to hold a grudge about that. It's a wonderful place to be. So we have prizes to give away. Oh, and you know what else I did? I, oh, I have some mail that I did not open yet. I have mail that I did open. I have mail that I didn't open. So naughty me. I have two pieces here. One is from Janice Kellerson. Oh my gosh, Janice makes pretty things. I don't know what's in here. Let's see if I can get it open. Um, oh, I think it's her Technique Rewards. Yep, it is. She's in my Technique Club. 
And so once you have been in it for six months, you get to send me a form that tells me what you would like for your $30 free product. So yay. And then I have another package here. Hang on, you guys. I'm so sorry. I just It just popped in my head that I forgot to open these two. I've got more mail, but I opened that earlier. It was a little crazy busy here this weekend with the retreat and, and all the people. Let's see what's happening. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. This is from Wendy Sue. Wendy Sue's on here, I'm sure. I just saw her name. And... What is she sending me a card for? Thank you for the Quiet Meadow Bundle. I'm having a great time creating with it. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this beautiful card, you guys. Oh my goodness. And she's got Wink of Stella on those butterflies. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is so, so pretty. And then here is the inside. Look at that. Wendy Sue. Wendy Sue always knocks it out of the park. And how about that envelope? Ah, uh, yeah, right? Thank you, Wendy Sue. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put this over here. Um, as long as I'm doing mail here, I'll keep going because I have uh, just three more cards. We opened this downstairs when my mom was here. And we all, Connie was watching. Maybe Kathy was down there too. We all gasped. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's that bedazzling paper that's gone. Isn't that something? Like, holy cow. I know. And this is from Julie Hillsman. She's on my team also. She says, thank you so much for the Dove of Hope stamp set for me attending a team meeting. You are a rock star and I can't thank you enough for all you do. Thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right. And she stamped up the envelope, so absolutely gorgeous. And then we have another stamped up envelope. Let me cover up the address here with a pretty dragonfly on it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Just some beautiful stuff here. Look at this one, you guys. Oh, it's that express, is this the expressions in ink paper? I think so. Or I think it is. Isn't that pretty? And there's Wink of Stella on those dragonflies. And it says, Dear Kelly, Thank you so much for your help with placing an order. I was confused. Love being a part of your team. You are amazing. Linda Keister. Linda, you're so sweet. And that's what I'm here for is to help you when you need help. So you're very welcome. I'm glad I was available when you contacted me. Here's another one. Pretty little envelope flap. I love this paper. So this came with a gift. And you guys watch this. This is a waterfall card. Oops, hang on. Isn't, whoops, hang on. There we go. <gasps> Look at how spectacular that is. Hang on, I'm going to do it again. Ready? Ho, ho, ho. This is from Connie. So pretty. And it says, thanks for all your hard work putting together the fall retreat. I know it's a ton of work, but the projects are always amazing. Like you, Connie. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And then I have to show you what she brought me when she showed up. She's not supposed to be bringing me presents because she was here to help, right? Uh, she said, if Bev is watching, she's not going to be impressed. But these are um, like chocolate coated Oreos, I think. I've had them before. They're from Donkers in Marquette, Michigan. And that candy store is absolutely amazing. Look at this one. Ah, I know, this is not good for my diet. And some um, Safely's chocolate bars. Three of them. These are Uber bars. <laughs> I love that. And guess what? My favorite sea salt caramels from Donkers. Oh my gosh, right? Oh, that Connie. She is trouble. She is chocolate trouble. But I love it. Thank you so much. And I do. I eat them very, very sparingly. Hang on. My crown is like having some issues here and it's making my hair look really stupid. <laughs> Problems, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Connie. You're so sweet. So we did our mail first. Why not? Right? We'll, we'll, we'll um, what do they say? We'll like um, shake it up tonight a little bit. Is that what they say? Is that the word? I'm going to bring you guys up on my um, iPad. So 
that I can see your comments when I turn this around, maybe. Let me see if I can get it going. All right, here we go. I'm doing really good. I'm getting better at this sometimes. Sometimes I'm a, it's a complete fail. Sometimes, hi Luba. I am happy to see you on here tonight. Okay, here's my live. I've got my volume turned down. Yay! See, I can see everybody's names better too. They fly by really fast when I only have this much room on my phone screen, right? Yeah. Um, we have prizes to give away. Ha! Ah! Last week, um, for commenting on my Facebook Live, I have some of the beautiful, cute stars adhesive backed sequins and Deep Life of Huntersville, North Carolina. These are on their way to you. Congratulations. Make sure you comment. Even if you've never watched me, switch things up, Tina. That's right. I want to switch things up a little bit. Sometimes, sometimes the brain doesn't engage. <laughs> okay, and after you've commented, you want to click on the share button and share this video. I know, Nancy, was it Nancy? Nancy says that bag can't contain a half a million calories. I know, <laughs> I know, it's bad. But I do only eat like one a day, so yeah. Um, also, share my video, that really helps me grow my business. And, ooh, Laura, I'm so happy. Oh, Leora, I'm so happy you remembered this week to jump on live with me. I have some of these tombstone treat boxes. If you guys remember, we made these. They're empty now. The candy corn disappeared. I'm not sure how that happened. But don't worry because I got more. And can I just say, this is so fresh that it's really soft and oh, so delicious. Bev, don't listen. Bev is my um, health coach that helped me when I did my big weight loss thing. And uh, of course I'm not supposed to be eating all that garbage, but did John put up his spiders? He did not put up his spiders yet, Danny, but I will make sure to let you know and I'll probably take a picture for everybody. <laughs> I had some people that watched me on YouTube asking about how they could see pictures of the wedding. Uh, my stepdaughter, oh, can I share donkers? Yes. Please just go and look up Donkers in Marquette, Michigan, and you will find their website. They are amazing. So um, I had some people on YouTube who are not on Facebook. I found that out because they asked how they could see pictures of the wedding. And I said, well, it's on Facebook. And they said, well, we're not on Facebook. So I'm thinking what I might do is share them in my newsletter and also probably on my blog. And I'll probably, I don't, it's, I can't share that video on my blog because it, it isn't on YouTube. Like I would have to have a link to YouTube to do that. So I don't know if I can do that, but I'll see what I can figure out. Um, who wants to know, Vicki wants to know, have I designed my million dollar sales stamp set yet? Um, it is just in the preliminaries and um, Stampin' Up! has not gotten back to me after we decided to go with a theme. And uh, so not yet, but I'm getting excited, you guys, because... This is the last week of September. I have next week, the first week in October, and then on the following Tuesday, the 12th, I am headed to Salt Lake City for my million dollar sales trip. <laughs> I'm so excited and don't worry, don't worry. I will share all the photos, like all the photos. You guys are gonna be so sick of me, <laughs> but I'm really, really excited. So did I say who won these? Um, these are the little tombstone boxes we got off on the candy corn and then the spiders and squirrel. Um, these are the little boxes. And I'm giving away a whole pack of these tombstone treat boxes. Marsha Colbert of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, you have these coming your way. And I know Marsha's watching tonight. Congratulations. I love it when you guys are on here and I get to announce that you won something. So... That's really fun. Where did those stars go? Right here. Okay, we can't lose the prizes. Next up, for placing an order. Now make sure you share my video because that'll get you entered to win. And it also helps me a lot and I appreciate it. Um, for placing an order between my last Facebook Live and tonight's Facebook Live, I have, in your words, this is an exclusive celebration 
host set. So if you were to have a party or place an order over $300, you would get this set. And since I happen to have put in a whole bunch of over $300 orders during celebration, um, the retreat, all my kit classes, my online classes, I happen to have one of these that I would like to give away. I'm also going to include the, um, oh, it's not called hand pen, beautifully penned. Hang on, I gotta look. I'm so terrible remembering these things. Beautifully penned, I was right. Beautifully penned, I've got a half a pack of that gorgeous black and white designer series paper. This is free with a $50 order before the end of Thursday. This is going out within your words for placing an order between last Facebook Live and today. Bonnie Diebel of Platteville, Colorado. You are the big winner. So watch for your fun happy mail coming your way. I have it all postage marked, weighed, and ready to go out. I just got to slip it in the envelope. So it will definitely be out tomorrow. I'm going to set it over there so it doesn't get lost with the rest of this stuff. I know Tanya says she loves that in your word set. That in your word set is just so, so fun. Life is full of ups and downs. Hold on tight. I love that one. Be who you were born to be. Hope this card makes you smile. I love that sentiment because a lot of times when I send a card for just no reason to somebody, I'll say, I hope this card brings you a smile today, right? It's just a nice thing to say. Perhaps the stars are openings where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy. Isn't that sweet? Lots of great, oh, hope your day is fantabulistic. Fabulous and fantastic all in one. This is a beautiful stamp set. So I'm very happy to be giving that to Bonnie and I know she'll love it. Oh, I gotta put her name back on it. Hang on. All right, are we ready to stamp? I think we're ready to stamp. I had a blog hop on Friday and I almost, almost didn't get it done. It was pretty, like, it was pretty touch and go and sketchy that I was actually going to make it to the blog hop um, because of the retreat and all the things going on. But I cracked the whip and I got it done and I shared a beautiful card using torn edges. And that was our technique, torn edges. And you can do a lot of really fun things with torn edges. But I made a card, but I never, I didn't have time to make a video. So I thought, you know what? I am going to use this card for my Sunday night Facebook Live, and I can show everybody how to make it. So yay, I'm excited. Hi, Terry. Welcome. Tanya's here. Um, yeah, so we're going to, I'm going to flip my camera around. I'm going to start unpacking all the goodies. And we are going to make a really, really pretty card. Oh, and then I have another card to share with you. I'm also thinking about going live tomorrow at noon to show you all my swap cards that I have for celebration because I haven't been able to share all of them with you guys. And celebration is almost over. Um, Shane is asking what a blog hop is. A blog is a website. So I have a website where I share all these creations that I make and videos and all kinds of stuff. So we get together, we usually have a theme, Torn Edges. This is a totally techniques blog hop. There are certain people that belong to the blob, blog, blob hop, <laughs> the blog hop. And this happens to be a collection of one demonstrator from each country that Stampin' Up! is in. So I'm the person from the United States and we have somebody from New Zealand and Australia and all the other places, UK. Um, and so what we do is we each create a project with the theme. And then at the bottom, after you look at our pictures and read through our stuff, there's a link there to take you to the next person's website where you can look at what they have and click on the link to take you to the next person's website. And it just hops along. So it's really, really fun. It's a way to see a whole bunch of ideas with one theme or one subject. Like sometimes we just do celebration, like the products and celebration, we can use anything like that. Um, I think, oh, last month for the Totally Technique Vlog Hop, remember this beauty? Yeah, this was watercolor techniques. So uh, my mom was just admiring this card. Where'd that, oh, here's the other one. 
I made these two cards for last month's Totally Technique Blog Hop. Oh, aren't they pretty? I know we're using the bright baubles. That's the, the bundle that was used to make these cards. We're using that for bingo on Wednesday night, which reminds me, don't forget to come to Cards and Bingo on Thursday night. I am going to be, lot, or I'm sorry, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. Is that right? I think it's right. I think it's, yeah, I think it's 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, there'll be a post coming up on my Facebook page to tell you guys and give you the link to the YouTube video. I'm going to be live on YouTube instead of live on Facebook, but I will post the link on Facebook so you guys will be able to um, join me whether you registered or not. Now, you can register for bingo. Registration for this Wednesday is closed, but I will have bingo again on October 27th. It is usually the last Wednesday of the month, and... Um, we make five cards and we play a game of bingo in between each one of those cards. It's really, really fun. And if you register to play bingo, you get entered, you can you you get to play bingo, first of all. You get a make and take packet for all five cards, which includes fifteen to twenty dollars in product with your pre-cut card stock, and you get to win fabulous prizes. Yeah. So um check it out. Come join us on Wednesday night um, on YouTube, and you can decide if you want to play next month, but it's really fun. We have a whole bunch of people playing bingo this Wednesday night. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Are we ready? <laughs> I think we're ready. Hang tight. We're going to flip this camera around. And let me get everything set up here so that it's... Ooh, we got a big glare there. I hate it when my lights are glaring at everybody. This is my blog address for um, Shane, who just asked, what is a blog hop? You can head over to my blog. Not till we're done tonight, though. <laughs> head over to my blog where you will find... Hang on, I'm going to straighten this out because it's crooked and I don't like it crooked. You will find the Totally Techniques blog hop. And you can hop along and see all the Torn Edges projects. This is my current host code. Stampin' Up! has changed things a little bit for us where we cannot assign more than 10 orders to a host code in a month. So when people forget to use that host code, nobody gets credit for the order if it's under $150. And when you guys use the host code when your order's under $150, that helps me be able to give you prizes because that's how I buy them. Um, so if, if you would love to place an order, I would love for you to place an order with me. Here's the host code to use if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, please don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! Free money to spend on anything you want, and I want you to have those. Okay, here we go. Um, I have to apologize. My fingernail broke when I was making Connie's bed on Friday, and I'm going to have to go get my nails done this week. So um, we're just going to have to ignore this, okay? I know people are like really Kelly. Yeah, well, I, I need to explain because I don't run around with chipped off fingernails. All right, in good taste, we are using this beautiful designer series paper. This is a huge designer series paper pack with all of these different textures in it. And one of my favorites to use for card making. We're also going to be using Feels Like Home. This is free. When your order hits $50, you can choose this among a whole bunch of stuff in the celebration brochure for free, but this is one of the free ones. I've shown other cards and I wanted to dig those out to show them to you guys again, but I already mailed them out to people, so my bad. But if I don't do that, then I don't ever send them and that's just a waste, right? Okay, we've got our stamp set here. We've got all our goodies here. Where's my cardstock? Oh, I'm like, oh my good lord, did I, did I cut the cardstock? It's not like cutting the cheese. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head, but it did. A little sick, right? Okay, here comes all the bits and pieces. We've got Misty Moonlight, four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. And we are going to burnish the edge good with our bold folder. And then we have, oh, hang on just a second. We have a piece of gray granite. This is just a scrap. This cork 
specialty paper, you guys, is to die for. It has texture in it. Like, it's like cork on paper. I don't know how they make it, but it's really, really cool. This little tiny piece is one by four. Then we have a basic white piece that's two and a half by four. By the way, you can find all of these dimensions on my blog right here. This piece is um, Misty Moonlight, and it is two and three quarters by four. Then we have this white layer. I don't even know what this is for. Let me look. Oh, yeah. It, it, uh, I think it's for the inside of the card. Yep, it's for the inside. Four by five and a quarter. Good Lord. <laughs> this is how it's going to be tonight, folks. <laughs> and then we have... I'm using the bricks. And it's got wood grain on the back. But we're going to use the brick side. And this particular piece is four by five and a quarter. And then I have an envelope. Oh, and that's what this piece is for. I'm like, what is that over there for? This is two and a half by six. And you guys know I like to decorate my envelopes to match my cards because we have all this equipment. We should be using it to our fullest advantage, right? Is that a way to say that? I don't know. But I'm going to put bricks on my envelope flap. And by the way, if you have never ordered Stampin' Up! envelopes, we have them in basic white and very vanilla. And can I just say they are some of the highest quality, nicest feeling envelopes ever. So I recommend that you give them a try. You get 40 in a pack for like, I don't know, seven or eight fifty. They're really, really nice envelopes. It takes your cards to another level when you have nice envelopes. Okay, so we've got our envelope ready to roll. This is our designer paper, and we're going to just glue this right onto the front of our Misty Moonlight card base. Let's see if I can get it straight. There we go. And let me take off my little jacket because I'm starting to get a little warm. Nothing's gone wrong that I'm having a hot flash. It's just getting a little warm in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to tell you what happened today. Well, wait, we need to stand first. Um, gray granite ink is what we're going to be using. And memento black. So let's get those out here. So Steve was grilling the cheeseburgers today. And since we closed down the pool, I know, it's total sadness, right? I know you guys get your tissues out. You can cry with me. Um, yeah, I know. I know some of you are at home going, yeah, I feel real sorry for you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know. I know. Um, anyways, he was grilling some cheeseburgers today and he moved the grill since we closed the pool. It used to be out on the other side of the pavilion and he um, has it right up against the house now and it was just smoking to like crazy. All of a sudden, I look out my window over here, and I see smoke billowing by my window, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then I smell smoke. And I go running downstairs here. The smoke from the grill was coming in the open window that's in my old office downstairs and wafting up the stairs so I could smell it. And then I saw the smoke going by. I thought something was on fire. It was hilarious. Then I yelled at him. <laughs> And I said, oh my gosh, I thought something was on fire. He's like, no, no, it's okay. All right, now we're going to take this beautiful front door with the bicycle and the plants and the trees. Is this not just the most charming little setting? I just love this. We're going to use our gray granite ink. And I really think that I need to re-ink this because it just feels really dry. So hang tight while I grab my re-inker and my plastic spoon. If you've never done this, you're gonna get a little lesson in how to juice up your ink pad with the ink refill. This is gray granite and gray granite. And I just squeeze some of that on there. Now, because I wanna use it right away, I need to blend this in. If I was just gonna put it away, I could actually close it and just leave it and it would all spread out where it needs to go. But because we're gonna use it right now, I'm pushing and spreading this ink around with a plastic spoon. And I keep this right in my little um, 
carousel caddy over here. It's actually a pampered chef to hold all your kitchen tools, but I use it for this. I wipe this off on my baby wipe, put my spoon back, and now we're ready to stamp. So that's what that's how I juice up my ink pads. And that looks much better on there. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp this towards the top of this layer, okay? And I want I want to get some of that bicycle in there too. So we're gonna do this. Let's see how I did. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is, you guys. And then we're gonna take our gray granite marker. So I wanted a layer, I'm, I'm copying a layout that um, one of my team members, Jody Peterson made with a different bundle. I wanted to make it with this bundle. So now I've got all this white area down here and I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? So I brought out my gray granite marker and we are going to flick our design here. So now I don't have all this bright white down here glaring at me. Like, wasn't that a good idea? I thought that was a really good idea. Um, I realized that I'm missing some supplies here, but we're gonna keep going until I need them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a controlled tear. And this is where the torn edges comes in. This is torn edge, and edge technique. I use this finger, my left hand, to control where I am tearing so that this doesn't get out of control, okay, and rip over into my into my stamped area too much. So now we've got this torn edge. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to put this on our Misty Moonlight layer. And we're gonna use it as a guide. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit of Misty Moonlight on that left side over here. Oops, hang on, I got kind of crooked. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. What are you guys drinking? Oh, I had a margarita last night and an old fashioned Friday night. I know, right? <laughs> um, so, oh, by the way, this is my strawberry lemonade. Yeah, you guys know. Hang on, my messages went away. Sorry, you guys, I wasn't seeing your comments because I didn't swipe. Okay, so now you're going to do a controlled tear on this misty moonlight. Thanks, Steve. I knew he'd come up here to close my door because I have a big mouth. Yes, you do. Yes, Love I do. You. Love you too. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> and now we're doing a controlled tear just like that. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to come in here and kind of do a dry fit to my card. This is going to go right about here. We're going to bring in the cork and we're going to leave that sticking out just a little bit on this. So I'm going to put some glue on my torn edge right here and then I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to leave just a little bit of that cork paper sticking out there just like that. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that look neat? I just think this is so neat. This was the layout that Jody did and I just fell in love with it. All right, hang on while I grab my diamond ribbon. I don't know why I put that away. Do I have my, oh, I do. Nope, yep, I do. So we've got linen thread and our diamond ribbon. Um, this, is, uh, this is called diamond weave ribbon and it's so, so pretty. We're going to, this was also included, I think this was included in our swag box for the retreat. So everybody who signed up for that is going to get a whole roll of this. So I'm just going to put this right here and I'm going to tape it on the back. I like to use some scotch tape to keep it in place really good. You don't want to pull it too tight. I'm going to leave just a little bit of um, play in it some slack and then we're gonna take this and I'm gonna take two pieces of it and I think let me measure these for you because I know I always want to know it just makes it easier if I'm gonna figure it out why not tell you eight and a half inches each let's go with that so I'm gonna cut this I've got two pieces here eight and a half inches each and I'm gonna tie this around my diamond weave ribbon. Keep them going here. Oh, 
Who said, I love the cork? Yes, tr I think it was Tracy. I do too. I think it's so cool. It really does have a texture, you guys. It feels just like cork. It's the craziest thing. I don't know how they make it, but it's amazing. And it's fantastic for masculine cards. Like, I love this for mas masculine cards. So what I did here is I took both of those layers and I tied a bow right on here. Oh, hang on, let me get this this down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to trim this off just a touch. It's not so obnoxious. <gasps> Look at how charming that is. It's just charming, right? Okay, now I am going to take dimensionals and my mother got to hear me like complaining that I always lose my dimensionals. I got out a brand new card earlier today and this afternoon I couldn't find it. I'm like, oh my gosh. But I found it. It's right here. It was under something. You know, you know how it is. Okay, we're gonna pop the backs off. This is my take your pick tool. It has a putty end on one end, a pokey end on another. It's got a little spatula in here. It's got all kinds of gadgets. It's great. We're gonna put this on our card and I'm gonna put this right up so that my top and my left margin are about the same. What do you guys think so far? Isn't it pretty? And then we're going to take this gray granite. Oh, wait. i got to get my embellishments out, too. Um, hang tight, guys. i got to find them. Where'd they go? Oh, my good Lord. Mm, they are. So we had the retreat this weekend. We did several live presentations, so I had to do some live classes, and we um, included these in the retreat box. So everybody's getting a pack of these. So I put everything away instead of putting it back in here where it belonged. So I am going to add some tiny little dots to this layer just so I can put in some of these pretty little sequins. A tiny, tiny little bit, oops, tiny, tiny little bit of bling. Here we go. Here's one. And I'm going to grab another one. Now, I know that you can't see these. Whoops, hang on. I got my putty just came off there. You can't see these real good in the camera, but just trust me that they add that little bit of bling that's so pretty. And here's one more. I'll hold it up for you. Yep, just a little bit of bling. A little bit. Okay. These, by the way, are called... Subtle Shimmer Sequins. Great for shaker cards too, you guys. Very pretty. Okay, this is going to be our sentiment layer. And if you, there are four different sentiments in here. We're going to use the one that says, I can't thank you enough. I always need thank you cards. Like I never have enough thank you cards. And so I'm going to stamp this in Memento Black ink. And then we're going to take, hang on, we're going to take one of the, this is the smallest stitched rectangle. These are called rectangle stitched dies. This is the smallest one. If you don't have these, oh my gosh, I love these. I use them so much over the weekend. So I love it when I, you know, sometimes you buy stuff and they're sleeper products, right? You don't use them very often, but I've been using these like crazy. And then that makes me happy that I decided to get them. Because I'm really getting good use out of them, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, some temporary washi tape here. And we're going to die cut this. And I've, of course, already done that. And look at that nice little stitched edge around there. That just adds to the charm. I love it. All right, here comes mini dimensionals. I have really <laughs> chopped this up good. Almost out. And we'll get those backs off of there. Here comes our card. I'm going to push this all the way over to the side over here. Just like that. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? Is this not just so, so pretty? Yeah. And it's a, I, I can write anything I want in it. I've got lots of room. Oh, I think this is a little crooked. Hang on. I can pull this up before it sets too much. Yep, it was a little bit crooked, but mm, 
I love that cork in there. Now, the last card that I made, I used Coastal Cabana. This is Misty Moonlight, the blue, and this is Coastal Cabana. So which one do you guys like the best? Thank you, thank you. I see all the beautiful, beautifuls coming in. Thank you so much. Which one is your favorite? The Coastal Cabana or the Misty Moonlight? I just love these. I think they're so pretty. So again, this is Feels Like Home. It's free with your $50 order. If you... Um, you know, pass this one by during celebration, you may want to reconsider. There are some gorgeous, gorgeous samples online with this. I had some really pretty ones, but I already sent them out. And you have until Thursday to be able to get this for free. So I just wanted everybody to know that. Here is another really pretty card that I got in the mail. Um, you guys had saw that whole set of cards that I made where all I colored was the door. This one, I didn't even color it at all. You can certainly color this all in if you love to color. Um, you can color this all in and it'll be just beautiful. But if you don't like to color, I didn't color anything here. You can still buy line art and use it for the beauty of it if you're not a colorer. Misty Moonlight. You like the Misty Moonlight. Yay! And that does surprise me too, Lori, because she's a huge fan of Coastal Cabana. Thank you so much. Thanks, you guys, so much. But here's another card. Absolutely beautiful. This uses the black and white free paper that I gave away to Bonnie tonight for um, placing her order between last time I had a Facebook Live and tonight. And again, this is the In Good Taste designer series paper with all these different textures, tweed and ceramic tile and wood. And this looks like um, kind of tile, some weaved, weaved. Yeah, there's some really, this is spackling and this is spackling. Some really, really cool textures in there. Okay, let me set this stuff aside. Oh, I have one more stamp here. Hang on, I gotta get this in here. Face down so I can clean it later. There we go. Okay. And we'll put these away. Now. The other cards that I'm going to make for you, super, super fun. And I don't even know where to start, but we're going to be using the Textures and Frames stamp set. And I have heard from so many of you, you don't know what to do with this. And I get it because sometimes when I look at these, I'm like, yeah, I don't know what to do with that, right? Well, you're going to love the cards that I have made. So let's move these out of the way. And I am going to start with a masculine card. And here comes our stamp set. So let me do this and this. Here comes our first one. We are going to be using gray granite. I'm pretty sure that's the color here. Uh, where's my little, hang on, I got a little note that gives me all the dimensions. Do, do, do. It is right here. Okay, there's my little note. Put that right up there. So, um, this piece of gray granite, let me make sure that's gray granite. I think it is, but I get that confused sometimes with uh, Sahara sand. So, gray granite, yep, it's gray granite, not Sahara sand. <laughs> okay, this is three and a half by four and three quarters. The black layer is just a quarter inch bigger. So it's going to be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And you're gonna find all these dimensions on my blog when I'm done. I'm probably not gonna get them up there tonight before I go over to Haley and Jared's house, but I will get them up there at least by tomorrow morning probably. Okay, so then our card base is also gray granite. I almost said Sahara sand because now I got it on my brain. And we're going to fold that in half. It's five and a half by eight and a half. So when you're mas making masculine cards, men don't like a lot of fluff with their cards. So I tend to keep them pretty simple. I've got a little scrap here of basic black, or I'm sorry, basic white. And I decided to pull in my happiest of birthdays. Who has this sentiment set? Like who has this one? 
I love big greetings. I just, I, I'm always drawn to them. I love what they do for a card. So I pulled in this one and then I also pulled in the biggest wish. This is one we're going to be using also with the cards that we're going to make for the rest of the time that we have together. It sounds like Carol Burnett, right? The time we have together. Yeah, I can't sing, so <laughs> that's all you're going to get. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to bring in that Happy Bee Day, and I'm using Memento Black Ink, white cardstock. Whoop, that didn't stamp very good. Let me try that again. There we go. That's nice and crisp. And then we're going to bring in those dies again, except that I have lost them. So hang on. They're here. Here they are. Again, with the rectangle stitch dies. And we're gonna pull this little guy out. This fits perfect on this particular stamp, right? Okay, so we're gonna die cut that. Oh, look how magical I am. Um, <laughs> maybe we should bring in a unicorn when I do magic, right? Yep, okay. Then we're gonna do our stamping. I'm gonna use the gray granite ink and memento black. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this rectangular outline stamp first. And usually when I, I'm gonna do some collage stamping, that's what I'm doing here. And this is a whole technique you know, in itself. But when I do collage stamping, I usually keep the um, smaller images in the darker ink and the larger images in the lighter ink. This is going to be in the lighter, or I'm sorry, the darker ink. And this isn't necessarily smaller, but I'm just telling you that so you kind of use that as a reference. So we are just going to stamp this all over the place and I want it to be very random so that's what I'm trying to yeah figure out what I'm doing here kind of just like a geometric pattern and you just figure out what looks good to you we'll do this okay so so far that's what we have and then I'm going to grab these three hash lines. And where did my lid go from my black ink? Do you guys see it? Here it is. I'm just gonna cover that up so I don't stamp in it by mistake. And then I'm just gonna come in here and add these randomly. And don't overthink it. They don't have to be perfect. And you can put them inside, outside, doesn't matter. You do whatever you want to do with them. They don't have to be in the boxes. There, look at that. You're like, huh, yeah, whatever. Now it's what you do to the rest of the card that really brings it alive, right? So we are going to add this to our black layer. And that's going to make it pop you've got that dark color behind this light cardstock. So now we're going to make it pop a little bit. I see that I didn't cut my cardstock very straight, so yeah, yay me. Okay, so we've got that going on. Then I'm going to bring in some black twine that I put over with my bingo cards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just never ending, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a tail here. Not too long because we're not gonna tie a bow. We're just gonna tie a knot. And I prefer most of the time, I'm not gonna say always, but most of the time to use knots when I'm making masculine cards because, you know, bows are kind of girly, right? They just are. So I wrap that around there three times. Does anybody know how the Packers are doing? <laughs> Who's got two TVs on right now? <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm just tying this in a knot, 
Okay, there we go. That looks cool, right? Then we're going to bring in our little die cut happy birthday. We're going to mount that on some dimensionals. And I'm just going to put three in here so I get good support. Did anybody see my take your pick? Here it is. And, oh, by the way, Connie, I know Connie's watching tonight from Marquette. You left your card packets here because I hid them from you, not purposely, but I will, um, I can keep them till next week or I can drop them in the mail. Oh, I'll probably put them in the mail with your bingo packet. So that's a good idea. I wasn't thinking. Okay, so check that out, right? Now, I want to do something to this card base. I don't just want to put that on there and, and you know. So here's what I decided to do. And I thought this was pretty genius, if I do say so myself. I am just going to come in here. And again, I'm still using gray granite ink. And I'm just stamping these little hashes along the bottom of my, oops, let's get that up just a little bit further. Yep, I did that. And I also did it on the inside because men deserve to have nice insides on their cards too. As long as we're not doing a lot of foo-foo stuff on the front, we need to step it up a little bit on the inside. Gosh, I'm so bossy, aren't I? Oh, look, mine kind of goes like that. You think anybody will notice? I don't think they will. Okay, and then from the happiest of birthdays, I used this one. Now I'm going to use It's Your Day. Enjoy it. Let me move that out of the way. So here comes this. And I got a little smudge right there. Don't worry. We're going to stamp right over it and nobody will ever know. So we have that going on. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do, oh, we have an envelope. We're gonna we're gonna play with that for a little bit too. Now I'm gonna put some more dimensionals on here, and I'm gonna pop this whole layer up. Men are kind of mesmerized by dimension on cards. They will kind of hold it over to the side and see what's going on with it, and go like, huh. They may not say anything to you, but they're checking it out, going, whoa, look at that. It's all raised up. Yeah, they'll kind of go, oh. <laughs> okay, then we are going to take this and we're going to put it up here just a little bit closer to the top so we can see those stripes on the bottom. Hang on, my crown's falling down. Here's our inside. What do you guys think of that? That is just total masculinity. It's a total man card. Super simple. You call that collage stamping. The other thing I'm going to do is dress up this envelope that I got ink on also right there. We'll just say that the mail service smudged it with dirt. I got to get my fingers wiped off. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to grab my stripes. And I'm going to do this. This. And this, and that's just enough. That's just enough for our man card. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like it. Okay, next thing, hang on, I've gotta clean my stamps because we're gonna use some more of these elements. This is a chamois, by the way. It's spelled S-H-A-M-M-Y. You can find it when you do a search in my online store. It is the best stamp cleaner in the history of the universe. And I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, so there's our first card with textures and frames. Free with your $50 order. Next, we're going to bring in a little bit of color. So, that was manly. This is not going to be as manly. We have Pale Papaya. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. When your cards are tall like that, you need to score them so that they fold nicely. Otherwise, they get kind of crinkly at the top. It's not attractive. <laughs> then we have the same size, Basic White, three and a half by four and three quarters. Basic Black, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. 
We've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece for the inside and also a envelope. All right, we are going to, first of all, we're gonna stamp this. Let me close this up. And then I'm just gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna bring in pale papaya, and this is what we're using for cardstock is pale papaya. So I'm gonna take the circle outline and I'm just going to stamp randomly with some circles. And I'm just going around the outside because that's the only part you're gonna see when I get done with making my card, okay? So let's get this cleaned. And then we are going to come in with um, circles, the solid circles. So that was the outline circle, this is the solid circle. And I'm going to stamp. Look at how cool that is. It's like kind of like splooshed like um, a pom-pom it almost looks like, right? Let me do another one, maybe right over here. How about another one right down here? Okay, now we're gonna change colors. So I'm gonna set this over here. I might need it again, I don't know. Now I'm gonna bring in Coastal Cabana and we're gonna stamp that right here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love that. Right here. Clean it up. I'm going to set that aside. Then we're going to bring in Flirty Flamingo. And let's see, we're going to stamp that right up here. Right over here. Maybe could we... Right here, that looks good. And one more time, maybe right up here. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna bring in this bigger piece of white. And what I'm gonna do to that is I'm going to stamp just like this. Then I'm gonna bring back my Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna stamp just like that, clean and pale papaya and stamp just like that. Okay, we're gonna set all those aside, get them out of the way here so I don't make any big boo-boos. Now, I'm going to take the big wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And we're gonna ink that up and we're gonna stamp that right in the middle. Ah, isn't that cute? Okay, I want one more little thing down here. So let's do the, what color do I have on here? I think it's pale papaya. I just wanna do one more little thing there. That was bugging me. <laughs> do you guys ever like get really anal like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this on. our black layer that's gonna totally make this pop. Like this makes all the difference in the world, you guys, what layer of color you put under here is, it makes a huge difference. Then I'm going to grab, where'd my lid go for the black ink pad? Oh, here it is. I'm just gonna get this covered up before I throw my card in it. We're gonna grab some of this beautiful black glittered organdy ribbon and I am going to tie that. I think I'm gonna tie it right around. So let's do this. And we're gonna do a little bit more. There we go. This is so, so pretty. It's got silver flecks in it. They're just, well, silver glitter is actually in the ribbon. It's really gorgeous. We don't have any of this. I would add it to your next order because it's just so pretty. And there we go. 
Then we're going to pop this up on dimensionals, which I have right here. Let's move this down just a little bit. There we go. And one in the middle. Oops. Am I, have I missed any questions, you guys? I'm just so, like, doing all my things here. I wasn't paying very good attention. I apologize. Okay, this is going to go right in the middle of this layer. I love the little bit of stamping on that background. Here is the inside of our card. Oops, hang on, I just got something on there. There we go. <laughs> Seem to be having a lot of difficulties with that tonight. Here comes our inside. You could stamp a birthday sentiment in here. And maybe we will. We've got, let's see, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And then how about the it's your day, enjoy it. Hang on. Here it is. It's your day. Enjoy. Just like this. And ah, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Now, hang on, because we're going to do some more things here. I need a piece of paper. Here comes my paper. This is just typing weight paper. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, yep, I'm going to slide my envelope flap in there and fold my paper over. Where did my, um, here it is, looking for this. So now we're going to take and stamp up our envelope flap. Just like that. Clean it off. Then we're going to bring in the coastal. Just like that. And last but not least, the flirty flamingo. And I'm going to do one more thing. We're going to stamp that it's your day. Enjoy it on the front right here. Oh my gosh, I just love this font. And go just like that. Whoa, right? Look at how cute that is. Yeah. Okay, where'd my card go? Um, does anybody see? Here it is. How cute is that, you guys? Now, there's one more thing I want to do. Here they are. Let's pop some bling on here. We're going to add some little tiny rhinestones because why wouldn't we? Oh, I just stuck my hand in that. Hang on, let me get that out of the way. And right here, and maybe right there. You can put as many on as you would like, but isn't that cute? And you saw how super, super simple this was, right? So now you've got a beautiful birthday card ready to roll. So that's card number two with our textures and frames. So let me set this over here. Oh, and before I forget, I made the original card in Coastal Cabana. So you got both of them here. Did I, what do I do on the inside here? Oh, there we go. This one's tall, that one's not. I didn't put the enjoy your day. Let's do that. Gotta get these ready to roll. You never know when somebody's gonna have a sneak party or a sneak birthday, <laughs> right? <laughs> do people in your life have sneak birthdays? But there we go, we got two different colors. You could make, I could have made um, a flirty flamingo one too, but I thought you guys got the idea, right? And I did have a whole retreat to get ready for, so <laughs> just saying. Okay, those are card number two. All right, let me move this stuff out of the way. Because we there's more. Do not worry. You guys are getting jam-packed class tonight. I figure after the weekend you've had, you're going to need it. I'm just kidding. I don't know what weekend you've had. I hope it's been a good one. 
I love when I have good weekends. And I really did have a good weekend. I had just a really nice time with my mom. And it was we had fun. Kathy and Connie and I had a blast this weekend getting ready for this retreat. And can I just say, those guys saved me. Like, they were amazing. Getting everything ready and in those boxes and sorted out. And different people get different this and different that. It was just incredible. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this card next because we're going to be using the Stamparatus. So let me put my little cheat sheet up there. And we're going to pull this out. Here comes our bits and pieces. Now, this is a really great card for anybody to make. But it's a really good card for somebody who doesn't have a lot of, like maybe you're just starting out as a stamper. You don't have a lot of colors of cardstock. We're literally using, this is an envelope. We're literally using this much cardstock. That's it. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so what we're going to do here is I have scored my thick white cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already got that scored. We're going to burnish that edge good. Then I've got a piece of white that is one and five eighths by five and an eighth. And a piece of black that's one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And we're going to bring in our stamparatus. And I have to kind of figure out what I'm doing here. Okay. So I've got my two plates. The first one here, I have already set this up. But when you go to set up things in your Stamparatus, what you do is you, first of all, make sure your stamps are clean, but then you bring in your cardstock and you figure out where you're gonna put it each time. I'm gonna put mine right here. I'm just gonna put it right here into the corner. Then I took this birthday stamp and I laid it on here exactly where I needed it to be and I closed my plate. And then it stuck to the plate, so when I open it back up, it's right here where I need it to be. So I'm gonna put some magnets in place. Don't let your magnets smack together because they will break and then you have more magnets, which I guess isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. But that's what happened to mine. <laughs> I'm gonna take Bermuda Bay and I am going to ink up my birthday stamp. Okay, oh, let me get some more ink on there. There we go. That still doesn't look like I'm hitting it good. Okay. Now, we are going to close this and give it some pressure. <gasps> oh, and by the way, this is the biggest wish stamp set. If you do not have this, you need it. I'm just flat out, I'm being bossy. This is one of the best sentiment sets. I love it as much as I love the happiest of birthdays. But you have thanks, hello, friend, happy birthday, all the things in here. It's really wonderful. Okay, so we did that. Now, I'm just going to clean my stamp off. And I just use a baby wipe. You could use your chamois to do this too. Hang on, I got a little bit in there or something. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plate out. I'm gonna turn it around where I have a happy in here, okay? So this happy's gonna stamp right above that birthday, exactly where I need it to be. And again, I took the stamp, I laid it out here so that it was straight, I closed my plate and it stuck to my plate. That's how you do this. And I just set this in the Coastal Cabana. So <laughs> hang on, now we're gonna do happy. And that's Bermuda Bay again. We're gonna push that down. Perfect, right? And now, I'm just gonna clean this up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick this up. This is called hinge stamping. You're gonna move it one hinge up. Is that where it needs to be? Yep, perfectly spaced. And here we go with our happy number two. Boom, boom, boom. Happy, happy birthday. So funny little story. One of the things that Val started saying, she still doesn't say granny, by the way. I'm starting to get a little disappointed and maybe have a complex a little bit. But 
One of the things she says with Papa, Mama, Kitty, Truck, Please, is happy, happy, happy. And you, you go, say happy, happy, happy. She says happy, happy, happy. It's hysterical. So we've got a happy, happy birthday here. And next what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. I'm going to move this over here. And we are going to stamp. The birthday. So in the stamp set, you have these block type fonts, and then you have these pretty cool fonts. I'm going to use black, and oops, I don't want birthday. I want happy. Hang on, where's the happy? Oh, um, no, it's not there. Hang on, it's here someplace. Oh, I got it. I got it on another plate. I didn't realize that. So hang on. Here comes our card back in here. We're going to take this plate out. Your Stamparatus, by the way, comes with two plates. It's pretty sweet. And now we're going to ink up the happy with Memento ink. And we're going to stamp that right over top of our birthday. And look at that. Isn't that fun? Happy, happy birthday. Love it. Okay, that's what I wanted to do with the Stamparatus because you get perfect placement every time. Now we're gonna take this little white piece that is one and five eighths by five and an eighth, and we're gonna do some collage stamping on here. And as long as we're working on that, my next card, yep, there's another card. <laughs> my next card also is using the same colors and the same collage stamping. So I'm gonna do both of these pieces at once, but this is for the card we're working on right now. Okay. Um, let me close this up and we're going to get out a million colors here. So we've got the little paint sploosh. Let me set this off to the side. We've got the little paint splotchy deals in Bermuda Bay. We do not need pale papaya or flirty flamingo anymore because these cards are going to be masculine cards. So we can't use girly colors. This is Coastal Cabana, and that we're going to use the large circle in right here. Then we've got Granny Apple Green, and that's going to get the rectangle. Pacific Point is going to get the solid rectangle-y looking thing. And then we have a circle that's going to go in Misty Moonlight. Are you guys getting sick of me yet? Are you guys still awake? <laughs> and then we got Daffodil Delight bringing up the tail end with the three stripes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. When you're doing collage stamping, like I said before, you kind of want to use your darker colors with your um, stamps that aren't as bold or thick. But you also want to start with your biggest and the circle is my biggest shape. So I'm gonna start with that first and we're going to stamp that on this small piece. And this again is Coastal Cabana. And I'm just gonna stamp it like this. And then maybe another one right there. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in this one, which is for a totally different card. And we'll, we'll see that in just a little while. <laughs> And we're going to put some of these circles on here and maybe right there. Okay, now we've also got envelopes that we need to stamp up. And by golly, we're gonna get that done too. So we don't have to mess around here. Um, we'll do that in a second. Okay, so we've got this done. We're done with our circle for now until we do our envelopes. Then we're going to come in with the Pacific Point because this is another pretty solid image. And I am just going to stamp that just a couple times. I, I don't want it to take over my whole layer, if you know what I mean. And then we'll do another one like right here, maybe one right over here. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You just do it the way you want it until it looks good. Okay, next up we're gonna do, how about our circle? This is Misty Moonlight. So 
I'm gonna do a little circle. You can stamp over top if you want. Don't be afraid to do that. We got some Missy Moonlight happening here and I usually like to do at least twice. Now we're gonna go with our Granny Apple Green. And of course you can always come in and stamp some more things. Oh, that looks kind of cool, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. And we have two more left yet. Crazy, right? This is the Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna come right in here like that, and maybe right like that. And let's do one more down here. And here comes some more. How about one right there? And one right here. Last but not least, are you guys sick of me yet? <laughs> Here comes our little Bermuda Bay little paint splotches. And yeah, we've got a whole bunch going on here, right? Do just a little bit more right there. Oh, I think I might want some right there. Okay. There we go. Here's our two pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one that we were working on with this card. And we're gonna put this together. Oh. I think I got a blue, a blue, a glue goober in there. Let's get that out. Okay, whoops. And we're gonna put this on that little black layer. Again, this just really makes things pop. And this is going to go right on the front of our card. Masculine cards. Ooh, we didn't do the inside yet. Hang on. We got to do the inside before we glue anything because I don't want to waste all that work. <laughs> and then have it not turn out great. Okay, this is Bermuda Bay on that big birthday stamp. I'm going to put that right here. Yay! Okay, that turned out good. <laughs> Never know, right? And we're going to put this right over here. Oops, hang on, I got glue on my finger. And I wanted to add a little bit of baker's twine. And this again is from the Essentials Baker's Twine Pack. And I'm not gonna tie it in a bow. You could if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave this one tied in a knot. The other one I made I tied in a bow. And where's my mom when I need her for her finger? <laughs> okay. Hang on, this is going on the back. Look, I got black all over my card. That stinks. I must have black on my desktop here. And when you have that happen, what I would generally do, hang on, I'm going to wake that up, is, does anybody see my baby wipes? Where did they go? Oh, they're on the floor. What I would generally do is I would take a piece of white and cut it four and a quarter by five and a half and I would put it on the back here and you're just going to have an extra layer. But I wouldn't send a card out with a back that looks like that because it's kind of, it's just a little bit trashy. <laughs> did I just say that? I did. It's a little bit trashy. Oh my goodness. And I'm out of Kleenex. So that's great. We'll blow this dry. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got that one done. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to do to this card is we have these matte black dots. And these are awesome embellishments, especially for man cards. They're not girly at all. And they're just gonna add some nice interest. And maybe one more, how about right down here? What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Right? Ha! 
happy, happy, happy birthday. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. This is a great collage card. Next, hang on. We have another one now for this other piece that we made, right? We're going to finish this up. I'm going to bring in the layers for that. And then I think that's the end of my cards for tonight, you guys. <laughs> I know. Am I keeping you extra long? It's almost 830. I'm not doing too bad, right? Okay. So here comes our layers. We are using Granny Apple Green. And this is a great masculine card, boy, girl, or boy, man, whatever. It's a great masculine card. And then we have a layer of basic white, four by five and a quarter. And we're going to do just a little bit of inside stamping. Where's the It's Your Birthday stamp? Does anybody see that one here somewhere? Here it is. And it's clean. I am going to use... Um, I think Pacific Point, which is right over here. We're going to use the Pacific Point. We can get these out of here now. Here we go. And I'm going to stamp that right on the inside of our card. And then what I thought would be really fun is to take one of these elements and I'm just going to stamp it right in here like that. Isn't that cool? I just like doing stuff like that. Dress it up. Make it special. If I'm sending somebody a card, they're special enough to get a card from me. They're special enough for me to make a little extra effort. I don't generally sell, send cards to people I don't like, unless it's family. <laughs> Did I just say that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, we're going to glue this together. Oh my lord, I'm sassy. And here we go. I think I just saw a question scroll by. Hang on. Oh, I see Sandy Gerard is on here. Val and your mom are waiting for you. Oh, you're so sweet, Jean. Thank you so much. They'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Now I am going to, let's see. I'm going to bring my Stamparatus back in here. Now I didn't intend I'm using my Stamparatus for this particular card, but as long as I have everything here, like, I don't know, why not? And so my card is going to go like this. I'm just doing a dry fit here. I'll show you guys how this works. I think I'm going to bring it over here. I get better pressure when I'm use it this way. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. So here comes my happy and I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it right up here where I want it. So now you guys get to see me do the whole placement thing, right? Okay. That looks good. It looks straight and we're going to close. And now you see how that stayed right there. I'm going to grab my black ink. I want this to get that out of the way. Here comes my black ink. Another little tip. You can take a stamp case and put it under this particular plate so that it stays up here for you instead of sliding, you know, being down like that. Okay, so here comes my happy. And I'm going to do it one more time because it should still be in the same place. And if your ink doesn't get real dark, you can do it again. Just like that. Yep. Love it. And then the next one we're going to use is the long birthday one. Does anybody? Here it is right here. i got to clean it because I pushed it into the black ink before when I shouldn't have. And we're going to use that in Pacific Point. And... Going to stamp that right over here. Ah, love it! Don't let your thing smack together. Okay, we're done with this. Oh, I should wipe that off. Hang on. All right. And now I'm going to move this over here. Get all this messy stuff out of my way. Where'd my lid go? Right here. Um, did anybody see the panel? That, oh, yep, here it is. Here we go. comes the beautiful card. And again, 
with the black matte dots for our man card. And I think I'll just put one right there, maybe one right up here, and maybe a little one there. Here we go. And we have our inside in there. And rather than, you guys saw me stamp up these pieces, right? So I did the um, envelopes the same way. So here's an envelope to go with this one. We have this one. And I also have an envelope someplace that goes with that one that I just can't even locate right now. Oh, here it is. Here's another envelope, right? What do you guys think of this? Aren't these cool? Like they are so, this is just the neatest, neatest set. And who would have known if I hadn't gotten it out and started playing with it, I would have never known that you can just so easily make all of these cards. I'm trying to get my thing to work right here. Um, here's another one. This one was made by my friend Dina Rico, and she just used the circle in a whole bunch of different colors, kind of building like a mountain. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So, um, where did our cards go now? Let's bring those. Oh, here comes these. Here comes this one. Here comes this one. So pretty, right? And... Here's this one. So again, you guys, just a really cool stamp set. Lots of great ideas. Textures and frames. There's more ideas online for this, but this is free with your $50 order through September 30th, which is Thursday. Holy cow. Now remember, I always, always, always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. You can go right over to my blog and you'll find an online store ordering button. Use this host code if your order's under $150. If your order's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Celebration is going on until the end of Thursday, and then it's all over. All the items in this brochure are free with your $50 or $100 order. The sheep dies are gone, and the bedazzling paper is gone. But everything else, as far as I know, is still available. Beautiful penguin paper. We have some gorgeous, this delicate dahlia stamp set is just amazing. We have some summer shadow dies. Here's that textures and frames free set. The sheep, super cute. Peaceful prints designer series paper that goes with our peaceful deer bundle. Also, the beautifully penned goes with the um, uh, hand-penned petals bundle. <laughs> We've got the Feels Like Home, which is these cards that I made tonight. That is free with the $50 order, and you can get as many of these as you want. If you put in a $100 order, you can choose two, and so on and so forth. So lots of beautiful product. Please make sure if you're not getting a discount on your products, you should be. You need to join my team as a discount shopper. And there's just a ton of stuff available to you when you do that. There's nothing better than being part of something bigger and having a lot of fun with a whole bunch of other people who love the same thing you love, which is stamping and paper crafts. So you would love being on my team. I would love to have you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate because as of Thursday, after Thursday's over, you will not get an extra bundle for free with your fabulous kit that you get to customize 100%. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, my email address is kelly at astampabove.com, K-E-L-L-Y at astampabove.com. And head right over here. You'll find it. If you're watching later on YouTube, please feel free to share this video. I'm also going to tell you that right up here in the corner, I'm going to put a link that's going to take you to the blog post so you can find all of the goodies, all the details for these cards that we made tonight, um, all the dimensions. There's going to be a complete shopping list there that you can click on. It'll take you right to my store. It'll show you all the products that I use to make these. So lots of great information. 
thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for spending your Sunday evening with me, for foregoing the Packer game to stamp with Kelly. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, so much. I will be back next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time for a Facebook Live. And also, I am going to go live tomorrow at noon Central Time right here on the same channel, A Stamp Above, your creative coach. And I'm going to show you a ton of swap cards using celebration products that I have not gotten to show you yet. I just want you to be able to see them and get great ideas. If you already have the products, you're going to have some fantastic ideas to go with them. If you don't, you may consider getting them. And again, I always appreciate your orders. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your night and I will see you tomorrow or next Sunday. Bye-bye.